Can we call this the first accident of the year? E36 bumper. And here we are, approaching the biggest question of the Nürburgring community. Ooh, our first lap of the year. Hmm, would I drive the N24 this year? Who knows? Definitely next year. Stay tuned. Woo! Our first lap. Well, GP track is nice, but you all want to be in the green hell. So welcome to the green hell. Also a bit black, a bit white, but mostly very muddy. Apart from stating the obvious, first of all, good morning comrades and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back onto the Nürburgring Nordschleife. And today we'll be doing our very first, I would say, lap, but focusing mostly on the main topic, and that is the construction works. Every year we do a video where we show the construction works because every winter break, yeah, there is a winter break, so don't try to come here in December unless you just want to hang out, not for driving, not in January, the track is closed till 19th of March this year, but every winter there are some sort of resurfacing works happening where they cut one or two kilometers of tarmac off and put a new layer because some of it is almost 50 years old. But last year they started with the so-called test of a digitalization project where on the main street, on the Dettinghe, they placed a number of cameras combined with AI system, very fancy word nowadays, open AI, chat GPT and stuff, but uh, no, combined with the AI system, so where the cameras can detect anomalies. So they can exactly see, okay, this is usually grass, but all of a sudden there is something else. It's a car in the barrier. We'll bring out the yellow flags, or maybe even the red flags, send out the martial systems, etc., etc. So we can probably by now conclude that the test was a success because for this year's winter construction works, the main topic is the whole digitalization project. This means that the first half of the track from, well, we already covered the main straight, the thing over there. So from Sabine Schmidt's curve on up until Breitscheid, so the first half of the track will be, yeah, um, made suitable or actually will have already these cameras and AI systems installed. Later next year, the second part of the track will be covered and by 2025 the system should be fully operational. Now I know people are gonna say like, oh this is something we've been yelling for years and asking for years and why don't they do it in one go? You have to understand that this is First of all, it's a very big project, it's a big track, it's the world's longest track, 20.832 kilometers long. So that's why they do a half now and the other half later. Now, moreover, since 1927, there are actually no connections here. Even nowadays, the marshals, to communicate with each other, they still use the old school telephone posts that you can see over there on the marshal posts because there are simply no cables, nothing. There's like, it's just empty, it's just woods here. So to put so much wiring through such a big surface. It takes quite some time and also quite some money. And after two years of COVID, blah, 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 okay, let's not talk about that. But you have to understand that the whole project costs 11 million euros and it's very cool to see such a big project happening here that will prolong the life of the track and let's be honest, also of maybe of some people. Um, right, so, so far what we can see here is it's a massive construction works with a bit of snow that is luckily almost gone. Uh, but I heard there are also some other sections that have a couple of other changes. I'm looking forward to see if there may be some curbs changed, maybe some fences placed extra because there's always some surprises. So let's hop in the car and see what else is happening. Well, at least the two kilometer sign is still there as a reference point for turning. Oh my God, look at this. You're gonna need a big room before the start of the season. Well, luckily they're gonna have the, the test day for VLN for NLS. So we see all the foundation for the cameras. It really is the biggest construction pit that I've ever seen on Schleife. Like literally the whole track is dug up. Yeah. Can we call this the first accident of the year? Oh look, E36 bumper. 
Hmm. Hey, it's the opposite direction. Adrian, remember the shots from 24 hour race from here? <laughs> As mentioned, the main construction works, from what I can see with my eye, consists out of digging out lots of holes to put the foundation for the cameras that will be here, which are actually 4K with AI system, and lots of cables. This also means that you need to get rid of the barriers to then replace them as well. So it's not just like digging a hole and putting something in there. It's quite quite a lot, a lot of work. I'm really looking forward to see how it is going to work in practice eventually. Uh, here is where the main stuff is happening at this point, I guess. Still some snow here. They're actually like taking down the whole bridge. I guess to put the camera here. Ah, they cut those trees. I thought what was different here. Yeah, significantly less vegetation. Lots of snow now here. We have now made another stop at Schwedenkreuz and over here you have an old picnic area. Nowadays it's just a parking area for either marshals or crashed cars during the race etc. That needs to wait until the end of the race for the evacuation. But look at all this. I guess it's just like, yeah it's just a storage place right now because here you have these foundation blocks for the cameras and here just the extra material. But I thought maybe they will renovate the parking place in its former glory so we can actually stop here as a, for a picnic and then proceed for the lap. Then the look towards Schwedenkreuz itself. Looks quite different now. It's a race. Yeah, he's indicating to the right we can pass him. He knows the etiquette. You know it's dangerous to overtake a Schwedenkreuz, right? Especially before the braking zone. Especially with all the extra obstacles. It's like World Rallycross here. Yeah, gonna pass him just before the jump for the ideal line. So far the only thing that's interesting is that nothing has really changed when it comes to the track configuration. There are no real resurfacing, no other curbstones so far. I'm sure we'll see something at the Vipperman. Uh, but as long as when it comes to going for the track directions and undulations, everything is the same. So and here of course they had to dig out a lots of gravel to put all this, what's it called, the wiring work. You can actually see the crazy camber and elevation change going into Arnberg to the descent of Foxhall. That's really impressive. And that is also very impressive. Do you want to ride? Yes, please. <laughs> so big digging site, true hole of foxhole as well. The bump and jump is still here. Love this one. No fundamental surface changes. Hmm, I wonder if the exit curb is affected. No, the curb. Where's the curb? Ma. Ah, there's a bit of curb. Ooh, big fancy machine. Fine. That's, I guess, the main digger. I think the trees on the right towards Meskesfeld are cut. The rebel tree is still here, that's good. Hmm. Now we can look straight past the barrier. At Vesaifen. And now we're arriving at the final point 
for 2023 construction works the half of the track right side and the rest will have to be done the following winter break because as you can see we have only one and a half month even less to go until the first event at the ring and the works are still in full full pace and they have to be because they probably had some setback last week when it was all covered in snow but if we talk from experience from last year so i'm pretty sure the construction workers will get the job jobbed in time because even last year with the whole resurfacing works was kind of challenging but they made it in the end looks like the hedges are cut as well while approaching now the links on the left no major difference i would say just preventive measures here also the hedges are cut triple left hander it's a very good view now actually you can look very nicely into the corner it's actually very helpful now, especially this one is not blind anymore they did the same i think three years ago and that was very good perfect small thing but such a big addition to the safety mood curve all still the same wouldn't expect any changes here i think the next major change that we're gonna see is Vipaman. i've seen some posts on social media that apparently the curb has been ooh, look at that the curb has been elevated quite a lot so maybe no Vipaman challenge or just Vipaman challenge next level depends how you look at it ah here are the actual gardeners of the never cream carousel is still same old same old amg still has the advertising rights for this at least so far now this one is interesting i wonder if there is some minor resurfacing about to happen or has happened yeah looks like it has because i know last year a car we're not gonna name any brands during industry pool caught fire there so some tarmac was melted so i guess they had to resurface that area and here's a funny one while we're climbing the whole arc, the second highest point of the track you can see a lot more snow here because you know that's how it works with elevations the higher you go the colder it gets and here we are approaching the biggest question of the Nürburgring community aside from the obvious construction works of course but the signature of Lippmann so left curb is still as is maybe some slight resurfacing the right one is also kind of same I don't know why people were making drama on Facebook. We made sure to stop and grab like a super shot with a super camera and lens as a proof that the curb is pretty much unchanged. I'm trying to figure out why there was such like a fuss about it. Because people said that it was like made higher significantly in comparison to, well, its previous condition. You can still send it, no big deal. Obvious disclaimer, only send it if you know when to send it, don't send it in TF while endangering others, yada yada yada. <laughs> also the first Whippemon curb, yes it is new, you have some sort of a rumble strip, but it's not higher. They didn't change this, so this is the same height. This is just like different surface. No idea why, no idea if it will be better or worse, but we'll see. For me it's fine. No more sledding down Brunchen. At least let's hope it stays that way. Flans Garden still the same. I guess everything else is pretty much the same until the end. So and then coming on to the main street. Oh yeah, thanks fog. Typical never clean weather. And as mentioned, they already installed these cameras on the main street in Dutinghe, so we can see a clear example how these things, the 4K cameras with AI system will look like alongside the track once the construction works are finished you don't see anything from the foundation blocks here either so yeah but it will be interesting it will be interesting to see if we can use them as some reference points for braking for turning in you don't know well i guess that's our final stop a very rainy and foggy main street that you heard just as we like it it's a very symbolic stop because over here this barrier hopefully if the weather not going to be snowing all of a sudden or something will be open on the 19th of march which is slightly more than a month time and then we all can enjoy the world's most beautiful racetrack that is becoming slightly more safer significantly more safer but until the full system is operational then it's actually fully safe yeah, I'm looking forward to be doing laps 
in a few weeks time. I hope you guys as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this short insight into the construction works. We'll be also doing a couple of more track walks this year just to compensate for the absence of them. Uh, so let me know in the comments if you want to see something special to find out until the track kicks off. And yeah, then it's going to be completely different type of content. Thanks for watching. Thank you Nebukring for inviting me along on this trip and uh, yeah see you next time probably tomorrow at on my channel right see you then bye